Hey everybody, welcome back for part two of a three-part series called Overcoming Goliath. So, last week we talked about a message of strength and how we needed to have God as our strength to overcome our Goliath in our life. So, the message this week is going to kind of follow the same premises. And a lot of these messages are is keeping God the center and using God as the source of power to overcome these things and how he plays into our lives when overcoming our Goliath. And whatever that Goliath is, is in your life, uh, financial issues, anger issues, something in your marriage, something at work. This series is just built around trying to help you through that. So if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link somewhere up here. I don't know if it's going to be in the beginning of the video or end of the video. I'm still learning how some of this stuff works. So if you want to see that, go check that out. I think you guys will really like it. So this week is going to be the message of encouragement. This is just going to show you that whatever you're going through, you can get through it. So, with the first point I want to bring up, and there's just going to be three different points we're going to talk about in this video. The first point is, God gives us, gives us the spirit to overcome. 2 Timothy verses 1, correction, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, sorry about that. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but the power of love and self-discipline. We shouldn't fear Goliath. Whatever that Goliath is... In our lives, we shouldn't fear. Our spirits were never intended to live in fear. Our spirits have the power to overcome Goliath. And that power is the access we have to Jesus Christ. We have the power to call on his name so that he can fight and defeat whatever it is we're facing. Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4 says this, For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Jesus conquered death and grave. So he can overcome whatever you're facing in your life. He's not going to let anything stand in your way from living a life filled with the Holy Spirit. We just need to know to call on him when we feel that way. And then that brings us to point two. Facing troubles is a time to rejoice in our lives. James uh, chapter 1 verses 2 and 4 says this. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Now if you watched any of my other videos, you know I, I talk about this a lot when I say, um, when we face the glass in our lives, whatever that is, it's because we're being called to something better on the other side of it. And to reach that destination down the road, we have to face any roadblocks that are standing in our way. And these roadblocks are meant to shape us and form us so we fit into whatever that place is next we're going to so that we're ready to take that on. And for that, we should rejoice because it's a continuous cycle. We're always going to be getting better. We're always going to be getting closer to God. And there's there's glory in that. We need to realize that every time we get tested is because we're getting stronger and stronger. Our spirit's growing and we're becoming more filled with the Holy Spirit when these things are happening. So let those take place. Rejoice in it. See it as a good thing because that means wherever you're at right now, God has something better for you. And if God says he has something better for me, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for those times where I'm, I'm challenged. I'm looking for that time where I can get closer to God. And a lot of times that's how we save. You know, when you're at your lowest of the lows, you're often your closest to God. So when we're in that low place, draw near to him. Let him help us through that. Let him take all that away from you. And sometimes all you can pray, and I, it happens to me a lot. And sometimes when you're facing these things, all you can say is, God help me. God, I need you. And just that right there is inviting him into your life to take over whatever it is you need taking over. And that's going to bring me to the third and final point for this message here. And that's going to be God has a plan. And we need to realize that. God already knows what he has set forth for us. It, he knows what's going to happen before it happens. He knows what we can and can't go through and what we're ready for and what we're not ready for. And Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says this, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. God knows what he's doing. 
And he's never going to put us through anything we can't survive, so to speak. Anything our spirit's not going to make it through. Anything that's going to tear us down. God's not going to put us through any of that. He's only going to put us through things he knows we're ready for. And that's because he he's not going to hurt us. He's not going to put us through anything that's going to destroy us and take us away from him. And we need to realize whatever these things are going through, God's doing it so we can be close to him. So we can step out of this worldly life we're living and live a more spiritual life closer to him. So a lot of the times we have to go through these so we can check whatever we're in. If um, There's another video I did about growth in the darkness talking about seashells and how the creatures... The reason they shed those shells is because they've outgrown that and moved into the next bigger thing. And that's the same thing with us. We have to shed that stuff that's holding us down to be able to live that more spiritual life closer to Him. So that's going to really wrap it up here. It's a little bit shorter video today. Uh, I feel like it's straight to the point. Uh, it's just kind of adding on to what we talked about last week, how God's God's the source of this all. God's going to get us through anything. Um, and that he knows what he's doing. He has a plan for us. So just know that going through that, that God loves you. Nothing you're going through is going to ever destroy you. He's, he, if you ever feel like he's doing it because he's not loving you, then it's not from him. He's He's putting you through it to bring you closer to him, and we need to realize that. So if you guys like the video, please leave a like on this. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. We just hit 100 views on the first videos. We've been doing this for three weeks now. I think this is the third week I've been doing this. So to see the channel grow, it's, it's been amazing. It's been amazing to see where God's taking me. All the support I've been, been getting over on Facebook from family and friends uh, sending me messages. So I'll link my Instagram to the page, uh, my Instagram page dedicated to this channel. If you guys want to send me a message over there, if you need any prayers, if you got any recommendations, anything you guys want to see in the future. Or just let me know if you're liking them. Uh, you guys can always comment down below. I'm always open to feedback and uh, hear from you guys. So, again, I thank you for tuning in. All those guys that have tuned in from week one, again, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, be back next Wednesday for the third and final part of this series. You guys won't want to miss it. Again, hit subscribe, like it, share it with your friends and family. God bless you. Have a great day.